Imagine sending Bitcoin as easily as a text message. We've made everything in our digital lives as easy as possible. Photos, messages, payments, everything just works, except Bitcoin. Let me just send some Bitcoin real quick, said no one ever. Instead, it's, is this 34 character address correct? What happens if I make one tiny mistake? And where did I store that seed backup? Email has worked smoothly for 50 years. Isn't it time for Bitcoin to catch up? Well, now it has. Meet Proton Wallet, where sending Bitcoin is as simple as sending an email. And here's what makes Proton Wallet different. With a traditional wallet, you have complex addresses, technical jargon, and a lot of anxiety. With Proton Wallet, you can send Bitcoin using those complex addresses, but you can also use human readable email addresses to send Bitcoin, which should relieve your anxiety and give you a lot of confidence. Proton Wallet is perfect for Bitcoin beginners, daily transactions, and anyone who values simplicity and security. With Proton Wallet, you just type in an email address and send out your Bitcoin. That's it. No complicated addresses, no technical nonsense. Just open, type, send. Proton Wallet was created by the team behind Proton Mail, trusted by over 100 million users for encrypted email communication. And Proton Wallet is a true self custodial wallet, meaning you and only you hold the keys to that wallet. And yes, it is Bitcoin only and they have no plans to support any other digital assets. Like all Proton products, it is completely open source and uses end-to-end -end encryption. Not even Proton can see your private keys, your wallet addresses, or your transaction history. Everything can be verified online on GitHub. You don't have to trust Proton with anything. Right now, there's a waiting list to access this unique wallet from Proton. But if you happen to have a YouTube channel, with over 8,000 of the world's most intelligent subscribers, you have some serious pull. I'm just kidding. I signed up for the waiting list and I got an email invitation, so I signed up for the wallet. But don't forget to subscribe anyway. Enough chatter. Let's go ahead and look at the Proton Wallet, starting with the actual invitation. I'll walk you through the entire setup process, give you a tour of the wallet, and we're gonna do a demo transaction from email address to email address. Oh, I need to tell you that this is a demo of the free version of Proton Wallet. The paid version that comes with a paid version of the Proton email account has a few more features and enables you to create more than one wallet. And this is a beta product, so there might be a few hiccups during the demo. That said, let's head over to the email invitation. Okay, here we are in my fresh Proton account email account and I have received an invitation from my buddy who also has a Proton account. And when I say you can send Bitcoin via email, you can send Bitcoin from Proton user to Proton user via email. You can also send Bitcoin to a non-Proton user, but they will receive an invite to join Proton. When they do, you can send it to their account. That way, all of the messaging and communication between the two users stays fully end-to-end -end encrypted. Here's the invitation. It says, hello, blah, blah, dot, at proton.me invited you to a Proton Wallet early access. Proton Wallet is a safer and easier way to truly own and transact with Bitcoin. Using sophisticated encryption, our Bitcoin via email feature will allow you to effortlessly receive Bitcoin at blah address. And please visit blah, 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 proton.me forward slash wallet to learn more and log in. Because of this exclusive invite, you will skip the waiting list. Wow, it's good to know people in high places. So I'm going to click the Start Using Proton Wallet button and see what happens. This is the welcome screen to the wallet. I have not done this uh, just one time on another email account, so I'm going to walk you through the setup process. And this is a Proton user received this invitation. If you're a non-Proton user, you have to go through the process of setting up a Proton account, which is very simple, username, email, go through the steps and then you'll be taken to this page. So it has us select our default currency. I'm going to pick the US dollar and we can import a wallet. Let's take a look at that actually. Creating a new wallet would generate a new seed phrase. I'm going to import a wallet or at least press the button. That is super cool. I didn't know you were allowed to do this actually uh, or able to do this. You can restore a wallet using a seed phrase right here. If you have a, a wallet on a hot wallet that you want to restore or another wallet, or you generate a seed phrase offline, you can do that. Remember, any communication between you and Proton is end-to-end -end encrypted. So all of this communication 
if I were to type a seed phrase in here, et cetera, um, those would be end-to-end -end encrypted communications. Now, if I had a keylogger on my screen, now if I had a keylogger on my computer or somebody was taking screenshots, then this would not be very secure. So keep that in mind when you decide how much Bitcoin to store in this online wallet. Okay, I'm gonna go back and create a new seed phrase rather than import. So I'm gonna close this and create new wallet. There we go. It says, welcome to Proton Wallet. This is a self-custodial Bitcoin wallet, meaning any Bitcoin you buy or receive will be fully controlled by you. Proton cannot seize your assets. Please back up your Proton recovery phrase and wallet seed phrase. Uh, we have created a bit, two Bitcoin accounts for you, primary account and a secondary account receiving Bitcoin via email at blah, blah, blah. And there's the email from other Proton wallet users. See, it only email to email via Proton. Proton to Proton email. I'm going to press continue. And now we're looking at the, the home page. As you can see over here, we have a list of wallets under my wallet. I cannot create another wallet, but I can delete these accounts if I want to. This is the email account. I'm going to leave that and then the primary account. And then right here, we have sort of a little dashboard of Bitcoin's current performance has been kind of blah over the last few months, I guess. Kind of flat for today. No Bitcoin, of course, in there. And we have up in the corner, I can send out five invites. Now, my other Proton email account had five invites. This is one of the accounts I sent an invite to. So now I have nine invites total. That's pretty cool. So I can invite all my friends. Let's see what else is down here. We have the ability to buy Bitcoin through this wallet. Also right here, we can receive Bitcoin. And if there were Bitcoin in here, we could send it, of course. The transactions will be listed down here. Let's go ahead and look at the wallet settings. I'm going to click this. The name is my wallet. I'm going to change that to Proton Wallet. Bitcoin is the unit. I suppose we can use, yes, SATs or micro Bitcoin. Still not familiar with that. And then we have two accounts underneath. This is one account and this is the other. The primary account is a non-email account. We can just flip this switch to make it email accessible. That is, you can send to this email address, but we already have an account underneath that we can use to receive email Bitcoin. They set this apart because the addresses are created in a different manner. This uses PGP security in order to create email, or excuse me, in order to create Bitcoin addresses. This just uses regular derivation functions and hashing to create the Bitcoin addresses. And then if we drop this down, we can view more. We can view the wallet seed phrase and record it. We can delete the wallet entirely and make a new one, which will create a new seed phrase. Or we can clear the browser storage if, if the browser is storing anything. I'm using the Brave browser, so things are locked down pretty tight. Let's see what this... Oh, I can delete each account from here as well. And that is it. Let's close this. So that takes care of this section. Down here, just some more user settings with regard to Proton itself. And up here, let's go to the secure your wallet section. So there are three steps to securing this wallet. Number one, back up your Proton account data, set up your 2FA, done, done. Back up this wallet seed phrase. So I'm going to click that, enter the password for this wallet. I'll paste that here. At this point, I can click view wallet seed phrase, which I could have done through the settings or not now. And when I view the seed phrase, I can record that offline and then that will be stored somewhere securely. The seed phrase is always visible. If you can access this account, you can access the seed phrase. Now, what happens if you lose access to your Proton mail account? You lose access to your Proton wallet. But if you have the seed phrase backed up offline, of course, you can restore it to another application like Sparrow wallet or another device or whatever you hardware wallet or whatever you want to do to gain access to the Bitcoin that's stored in the wallet. And that's about it. Let's go ahead and look at the buy button. That takes us to a new page. We have to select a country. I'm just going to select United States. Confirm. You pay. It's getting an estimate of what $500 US dollars would buy and apparently would buy this much Bitcoin. I'm not sure that that's a great deal, but this allows you to buy Bitcoin through the application. And when you purchase it, it gets sent right to the wallet in the Proton wallet. You can use Apple Pay, which changes the amount you receive or a credit card, which changes the amount you receive. It automatically picks the best vendor in terms of deal and automatically picks the pack the best 
payment source as well. All right, that's good. Let's go ahead and look at the receive. So when you press the receive button, it generates a Bitcoin address that you can send your Bitcoin to. Please do so. And you could copy the address or you can generate a new address. Once you've used an address, the next time you press receive, it automatically generates a new address. This is a native SegWit address because it is BC1Q, not Taproot. This wallet is not Taproot compatible. I don't know if you can send Bitcoin to a Taproot address from this wallet not sure anyway it's usually uh or it's using native segwit addresses and i think that is it well now that we're finished with the short tour of the wallet let's go ahead and send some bitcoin to this wallet using another proton wallet email address to email address i'm going to open up that wallet and i'll meet you there okay here we are in my other proton mail wallet and again these are all free accounts you just have to get an invite or know somebody that has nine invites and ask them for an invitation what i'd like to do now that i have some bitcoin in this wallet which i sent the other day from river obviously as i'm going to use an email address to email address to show you how easy it is to send from one Proton user to another. I'm going to go ahead and press the send button, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste the email address from the other wallet into this box. There we go. I'll press enter. It's checking and it looks good. So that little pause there was Proton checking to see if that email address has in a wallet associated with it and it does so now i can confirm go to the next step how much do i want to send now i can i can designate that in any one of these fiat coins or bitcoin itself i'm going to say send all from one email address to another now i can also add another recipient here i'm going to go grab an address and add a regular bitcoin address and show you what that's about okay let's edit recipients here i'm going to add another address here press enter and now I've got two recipients so let's go ahead and press confirm again and now let's go ahead and press send all and look at this this amount was split equally among the recipients it doesn't have to be but that's sort of automatic what you can do is let's go ahead and make this twenty dollars and then the other person gets short change and gets four dollars and 72 cents now the minimum amount you can send i believe is 0 0.0001 bitcoin i'm going to go ahead and remove this and find and change this to bitcoin and see what the minimum is let's just 0001 let's no let's do 0009 and press review it's not going so let me refresh the page i'm going to re-enter that email address press confirm select bitcoin review hmm so it's, it will let me send 98 cents. That seems kind of silly, but that's pretty good. I don't know what the minimum amount is, but apparently it's pretty low. So let's go ahead and edit this, confirm, send all. And again, this is going from email address to email address. No Bitcoin address visible. I'm going to review this. I'm going to say message to recipient. Enjoy your dinner. Confirm. And what else do we have here? Now, it looks like we can set a network fee. But earlier I was playing with this and it didn't seem to work. It sets a low priority fee, which is great. But what if we want the transaction to go through quickly? Well, we don't have another option. So that's it. And I'm not sure that we can adjust this manually. We cannot. So this might not go through in any reasonable amount of time or at all for that matter, because the fee is really set very low. All right. So we have total amount and fee because the fee is taken out of the amount that was being sent. We can add a private note to self, send to self. Confirm, confirm and send. And that's it. And there is the, and you given an opportunity to invite a friend into the wallet. It says Bitcoin is sent. Enjoy your dinner, sent to self. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Not too much information on here. I'm sure you have access to the transaction ID at some point. You can also change the status. That is raise the fee potentially. Let's boost that. Ooh, that is pretty cool. I didn't know it was able to do this. So current fee is 21. New network fee is 72. Of course, I don't have any Bitcoin in the account to pay for this updated fee. I'm not going to press this because I don't know what's going to happen. But apparently you do have the opportunity to boost the fee after the transaction has been sent. Let's go over to the other wallet and see what that looks like. Okay, here we are at the other wallet and this transaction just showed up. It says, enjoy your dinner received in progress. I can add a note 
to help me keep the transactions organized. It says who it's from here, which is an email address rather than an, a Bitcoin address, which is neat. Now, only the people involved in the transaction can see who it was from or who it was to. Nobody else can see that, not even Proton themselves. Let me explain for a moment while we're waiting for that tra transaction to confirm what makes Proton's Bitcoin over email so secure. Proton generates a pool of Bitcoin addresses for each account that you create. Each transaction uses a new one of those addresses, preventing address reuse and an invasion or a loss of privacy. These addresses are then signed with your PGP encryption key. Then the recipients verify address signatures using your public PGP key. Any messages sent from person to person are encrypted using the PGP key as well. And PGP stands for pretty good privacy. It's a terrible name for a really good encryption methodology. Given the fact that you're using an email address to send Bitcoin, you might think it might be easier for someone to track a transaction from your wallet to their wallet using the email address. That is not the case. Even though you're using email addresses, nobody else can track who sent you that Bitcoin. You do need to note though, that when you're sending Bitcoin to multiple people, that does share transaction data among a bunch of different people, potentially reducing your privacy. So what makes this Proton wallet so special? Well, it has true end-to-end -end encryption and your keys never leave your device. Like all other Proton products, it is fully open source. So every line of code can be verified and audited by anyone. It's true self-custody because you are the only one that has access to that seed phrase. There's also no address reuse for enhanced privacy. And when you set up a wallet, you can use an optional passphrase, which I didn't mention, for additional security. When you set up your Proton wallet, you should set up two-factor authentication for increased security. Also, Proton has 24 seven human support available. And Proton is based in privacy-friendly Switzerland. Okay, here we are back at the wallet. I just wanted to check in to see if the transaction had been confirmed. It has not, and this is the receiving wallet. Let's go back to the sending wallet for a second. Here we are back at the sending wallet. I'm gonna click the transaction and I'm going to see if there's any way to find the transaction data. I don't see it, there it is. I knew there was gonna be a way right here. So if you click this, you can view the transaction on the blockchain and follow the process of confirmation. If you want to do that, I'm going to end the video here and say, in conclusion, this Proton wallet represents a really secure, simple way for new people into the Bitcoin world to send Bitcoin from person to person. This wallet is not meant to hold a life savings worth of Bitcoin, but it is a fantastic way to securely send Bitcoin easily, quickly, and without too much stress. As I'm talking, this Bitcoin transaction has been confirmed. As you can see right here, the transaction says it has sent the value in the wallet is at zero. Let's go back to the receiving wallet real quick. And I'm going to refresh. There we go. The amount has been received. The transaction has been confirmed one time, which is fantastic. I really like this wallet. It is very simple. You have the ability to buy. It's encrypted. It's uh, secure. It's from a really reputable company that is privacy first and security minded. Again, it's not for a life savings worth of Bitcoin, but I highly recommend that you check this out. If anybody wants an invite, I'm entertaining the idea of potentially giving out some of these invites to some viewers. Okay, so just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the wallet. And if you want to have an invite, I will contact you through your comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you in the next video.